Hi folks, Mikey Bly here. Back with some more kill or love today, but uh, actually first, if you notice something on my nose, please try and ignore it. I think there's something in there that's trying to take over my entire face. Hopefully it doesn't. For now, I'm still in control of my own face. And that's the only thing that really matters, all right? So let's focus on kill or love, shall we? I just want to throw it out there, just in case. <laughs> I want to acknowledge it. Um, so in the previous part, I guess the diary writing came to an end. It seems like Jack is done with the diary. He said goodbye to the diary, and since that happened, we have just had like one long flashback so far. Um, Anna took us to this decrepit neighborhood in the city and made us burn the few of Grace's belongings that remained. We saw somebody in one of the decrepit building windows. And that was the end of it. But now this has come up on the screen and I was debating, wondering who's saying this. I think it must be Anna, because in my mind, Jack wouldn't use that word to describe someone else. I think it's Anna talking about Grace. So I'm gonna go with that. And if I'm wrong, I'll just change Jack, okay? We'll just, we'll just, we'll just go with the flow on it, all right? So here we go. This is a horrible beginning to a video, but this is, this, this is what it says, so. That little slut. I hope she had a good look at us burning all that trash of hers. I was right. At Jack burning it. God, I'm so proud of him, it hurts. I can't believe I miscalculated, though. I thought Grace was gone for good. So, so Anna did just scare her off to begin with. But Grace decided to hang around. And I guess that's going to be to her detriment because maybe Anna did kidnap her then. Uh, what? Oh my God, Grace actually came? But then there she was in our hallway asking where Jack was and what I had done with him. Oh my God. See Grace, if you just listened to me in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> All this while Jack was right on the other side of the door. Can you imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there? Yes, Jack might have got his normal life back. She would have knocked on the door or rung the doorbell. And she would have probably called out too. It would have scared Jack so badly, I can't bear to think about it. Oh yeah, poor Jack. We're only thinking about his feelings, obviously. Thankfully, I wasn't wrong about everything to do with her. She hasn't called the police. I knew she wouldn't. How did you know she wouldn't? I just didn't think she'd come back at all. She was still as scared as a little lamb. Wearing a pretty cool coat slash jacket too, actually. I'm pretty fond of that. Her hand shook while she demanded I tell her what happened to Jack. Oh God, I feel so sorry for her. She's really trying, she really cares. She got sucked into something she really wasn't expecting to get sucked into. <laughs> he... He can't be in there, can he? She stepped forward, but when I put myself between the door and her, she backed off again. I wonder how she didn't pee herself, she was so scared. Okay, Anna, stop delighting in other people's fear. God, you're already weird enough, I don't need any extra... I don't need any extra crazy added to the fire, thank you. <laughs> Jack doesn't want to see you. What are you doing to him? No one's seen him since I went away. It's like he's disappeared. He's been here the whole time. God, what are you doing to him? Be quiet. She was making so much noise. Can't let poor Jack here. Don't want to traumatize poor Jack. I put a hand on her shoulder. I had to see if she had the guts to slap it away. She just stood there. Jack is perfectly fine. He's happy, and he doesn't want to see you again. I, I know he probably hates me now, but at least let me see him. I have to at least see him again. So annoying. Loneliness has made her desperate, unpleasant. Yeah, because you, you are just a bucket of pleasant. That's what being by yourself does. Look at dear Jack. We've only been together again for a short while and he's already such a sweetheart. And he was so prickly before. 
for good reason. <clears throat> if you see him now, he'll tell you he hates you. Do you really want that? Uh, no, I don't want that, but then go away. Oh my god, the crazy eyes. They're not quite as the same as the other crazy eyes, though, but they're still crazy. It's as simple as that, don't you think? Even someone like you should understand. Someone like you. Are you calling her stupid? It's incredibly mean. I mean, she may well be, but it's still me to say it out loud, you know. But why are you so... I thought we were... She swallowed hard. I have to see him. Annette, please. <laughs> Being alone made you into a real bitch, you know that? What? What? Or did it? Were you lonely after all? It really makes me wonder. With how little money you took with you, I was sure you'd be living on the streets. But you're clean. You don't smell more than usual. Oh my, <laughs> this is catty. This is incredibly catty and also incredibly nerve wracking. I'm living with a friend. What does it matter? That's a lie. You don't have any friends. Oh, God damn. It's like punch after punch after punch here. Grace gritted her teeth and glared at me. She wanted to run away in shame. She's so simple, so obvious, but she couldn't leave with Jack so close. So where are you staying? Whose cock are you sucking for rent? <gasps> Whoa, she didn't just say that. This is getting too mean. I don't think my poor heart can take this. I, I'm not. Is that wrinkly old man? Is it that wrinkly old man you work with? Oh, Don. <laughs> it's nothing like that. I am living with Don, but, but I'm not. Oh, aren't you? Then how are you paying back his hospitality? You don't have any money. You quit your job too. I checked. What? Why did she quit? Did she quit because she didn't want to see Jack? <laughs> I say both of them were trying to avoid each other, so they both quit. Oh God. <laughs> I'm not paying back anything. Don't be shy. Oh, screw you. Move. How violent. It's a good thing I separated her and Jack when I did. Any more of this girl's influence, then who knows what could have happened. Maybe he might have lived happily ever after. I can't even speak. Maybe it's a lie. <laughs> they would have lived happily ever after. She tried to shove past me, but I had a little surprise in my pocket. Was that a knife? Uh, Anna, that's... Yep. So don't you dare touch me again. I might do something bad. I pressed the knife against the side of her neck. <laughs> Keep going. It drew blood. I couldn't help myself. But it wasn't a lot. It wasn't life threatening. You know, I didn't I didn't get I didn't I didn't get any of the arteries or anything. It's fine. Is the arteries in the neck? The jugular? What is that? Is that an artery or eh, regardless. She didn't bleed to death. I guess. not yet anyway. I'm not going to kill someone out in the open like that. I'm not stupid. Just insane. Grace stood petrified. You, you can't do this. I'll, you will call the cops? No, you won't. They won't believe you. They never do. <gasps> Is this about what happened to her when she was younger? Oh, fuck, that's awful. This game is absolutely annihilating me. Right? She didn't lash out for once. She must have finally realized how useless it was to try. So she shuffled away. I waved her off. It's only polite. Bye! Hope to never see you again! Don't forget I've got Mr. Stabby Stab! See ya! She didn't even look back. Rude. But then she kept following me around. Even after that. What a stalker. 
<laughs> he does not know the meaning of the word hypocrisy. So I had Jack burn her things. I know she was watching. It was beautiful. Oh, so that happened. That happened before the burning? Oh, right. Okay, so that wasn't after the burning. Okay, right, I get you. I guess, yeah, of course it was because she didn't know if Jack was in there. If he'd been in there all the time. Okay, yep. All right. Now she'll back off for good. You think? I don't think she will. This is how I probably end up getting my leg broken. Because then Anna could keep a real closer eye on. But I don't know though. Hospital? Grace could have come and visit me during visit hours when Anna wasn't working. That seemed like a bad place to put me. That something must have triggered that though that made her want to... I don't know. Anyway. I'm back. Welcome back. Hey, easy, you'll trip. I'm running. I'm still coming on with that dog motif. <laughs> you're home, you're home. <laughs> Good treats. The moment she touched me, those long hours of waiting were painted over by warmth. Oh, wow, so that was the gap in between when she went to work and when she came back. <laughs> oh, boy. It made me so happy. Something smells good. Is it dinner? Yes! Praise me, praise me, please praise me. Me do a good job, me cook, me cook, me do good, me good boy. Oh, you remembered. I'm so glad. I made a casserole. Mm, what kind? Sausage? Sausage casserole's my favourite casserole. Well, pork's pretty good too, I guess. And lamb. Basically anything casserole-y is, is good in my book. Anna set the table, uh, and I served it. Mmm, that was really tasty, Jack. Thank you. She liked it. I wasn't happy with the meal. It was tasteless and the meat was tough. But Anna said she liked it. She was so kind. I wish I could help more. What do you mean? With, with money, I guess. I was being serious, but she laughed. That made me feel a bit stupid. Oh, Jack. Money's no problem at all. I told you already I've got a lot saved up, and the rent here is nothing. Oh, okay. Anna hummed contentedly. Not like a fridge. A minute later, she stopped a whole minute of humming? Let's just gloss over the fact that she was humming for a full minute. There is something you can do, actually. Really? Yes, really. Uh, but I'm not sure if you'd be up to it. Tell me. Tell me what it is. I will do anything for you. Anything. I'll do anything for you. Oh, God damn it. Am I, I'm turning it. Jack. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> okay, then. What is it? How can I help? Wait until before bedtime, okay? Is it a bed thing? I could totally do bed things. Bed things are easy. See, peasy. Come on, man, I can't put a foot wrong in bed, right? <laughs> okay. When I heard what she wanted me to do, I didn't take it well. <laughs> it's not the kind of bad thing I want to do. <laughs> what? I was angry. Furious. I felt betrayed. You want me to... Yes, I do. Wait, what? What? But... No! You said... You said I'd never have to remember anything. Oh, she wants me to remember stuff? This is obviously still a sticking point, even though she has wormed her way right into my brain and turned me into a... slave, basically. Um, I still don't want to do the remembering the past thing. You promised! I got up from the bed and started pacing from wall to wall, never looking at Anna. What she'd said hurt. How could you lie like that? Oh, baby, please don't hate me. I was shivering with anger. I thought I might faint. Wow, so that's still something that there's a big still resistance in there because I would basically did so many other things for her. I'm like a lapdog, but I'm still really don't want to remember my past. But I didn't hate her. I couldn't. So I stopped walking and faced her. I know I said what I said, but this is important. 
Don't you believe me? There was only one thing I could say. Yeah. <laughs> can't say can't say anything else. I believe you. Thank you, Jack. I love you. I love you too, I guess. And I'm sorry. Don't don't say you're hearing Anna say she was sorry was for some reason like a punch to the gut. Yeah, she is really trying to be well. It tugged at my memory. She she always said I know. Oh, Grace? Yeah. She was a sorry monger. I'm the same. It's ingrained into every single British person's psyche to over-apologise. And also, seemingly Canadians too. And now I'm a Brit living in Canada, so I've got to, I feel like I double up on the sorries. <laughs> I apologise to lampposts when I walk into them. <laughs> Notice when I say when, not if. Which means it's a much more common occurrence than it really should be. Anyway... <laughs> That's not what I'm telling you to remember. Oh, Grace, no, no, no. She wants me to go further back than that. Uh, you must never remember that woman. Forget all you have left of her. Then, what I want you to recall goes much, much further back. It won't be easy, but when you do, when you remember, our love will be the deepest it's ever been. But it won't be, because I'm in the hospital bed saying I remembered everything and wanted to kill her. So, I don't know how she figured that. Don't you want that? I do. I love you. I want that. I want to love you even more. Tell me what I should remember. Anna embraced me with happy tears in her eyes. But she wouldn't tell me what I needed to remember. She said it would be pointless if she told me. I had to remember it all by myself. Anna ordered me to sit down in front of the alarm clock every day for at least an hour. I was to do this while she was at work. Is it the clock? Is it the clock that's doing this with the hypnotizing or something? But how would the alarm clock do that? Or maybe the, the memory's got something to do with a clock? I don't know. I was to have my eyes closed. Wait, oh, sit down for the alarm clock, but not look at it? I was to try digging back in my memories. Oh, sit down in front of it, close my eyes and try to remember stuff. Okay, fine. Now it makes a bit more sense. Maybe. Far, far back. I did as ordered. But the first time I tried, the very next day, it was all so foggy in my mind that I couldn't even start. Thinking felt slow. It was like walking through molasses. I only made myself tired. Before I fell asleep sitting up, one last thought came to me. Was thinking always so hard? I guess if you don't do it often enough, maybe you lose the knack. The second time too, I gave up right away. I couldn't do it, but I had promised Anna. The next day, I tried harder. My head hurt and I felt like I was groping in the dark. Scared and all alone. A bit like reading this text. It's all dark in the background. And I'm alone. Sound is at work. But I did it. I had promised Anna. I waded further in. Oh, there's Grace. And there she goes. A flash of a smile made my chest hurt. Yeah, we need further back than that. Grace is still recent. Grace is like the last couple of months at this point. Well, I don't know. No, he said it was a month, right? He said the, the, that month. So he, he only did, this was only a month. So really, he hasn't gone far back yet. But I kept going. For love. For love! Creepy, weird, totally wrong love. Huh? Which one did I love? Which one did I hate? Things didn't used to be like this, did they? This feels wrong. Something went terribly wrong. I need to make sense of it. Uh... Days later, while going back in my memory, I reached a wall. Oh, so that's what that symbolizes? A wall? A dam? I felt I shouldn't try to climb over it, so I didn't. There were things out there I didn't want to see. 
So I went back to the puddle I'd been searching through. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to flood ourselves out. Let's just let's just jump in a puddle instead. That's a, that's a bit less daunting. It was a stew of love and fear and hate, given and taken seemingly at random. It was a mess. <laughs> Welcome to life, my friend. <laughs> but it was a mess in my head. And I'm in control of my own head, my brain, nobody else's brain. Maybe Anna has a big hand in it at the moment, but it's still mine. I would make it make sense. Okay. Ah, Jack. Yes, Anna? I'm going to work. Chapter six, changed. Aren't you going to say bye? Oh, bye, Anna. Catch you on the flippity flip. And a goodbye kiss? We kissed. Anna placed a hand on my forehead. Are you okay? You might have a fever. I can give you something for that. I smiled. I'm okay. It's just... What is it? Trouble? You can tell me anything. Um, do you know that sandwich shop? Uh, which one? Yeah, that's a bit vague. The Cambridgeian sandwich shops. Uh, next to the... Where I... Next to the store. You want a sandwich from there? Yeah. If that's okay. Well, there is always a huge line there. Please, Anna. It would mean a lot to me. Oh, how can I resist? Of course, darling. I'll get you anything. What kind of sandwich do you want? Uh, anything you pick. Fine, cool. As long as it's between two slices of bread, I am good. That is actually genuinely me in real life, by the way. I am a sandwich-aholic. I slap anything in bread, really. Uh, a sandwich sandwich, you know. Hmm. I'll get you something light. You're not getting much exercise. I don't want you to get fat. Oh, all right. So you're all about the looks, are you? Can't stay all this forever, you know. Is that all right? Yep, salad sandwich works fine, I guess. Great. And don't forget your remembering session. You've been doing those, right? Yeah, of course. Why would I ever disobey you? And? Mm -hmm. Nothing yet? Oh, well, it's not even been two weeks yet. Oh, okay, so... This is still within that one month time frame that we mentioned, right? I'm assuming... So, we must be coming to the end of that month then. We've got to be. You'll get there soon. I'm sure you will. Yeah, I will. And you'll regret asking me to do it. I assume. And a pinch my cheek. Ow! Kissed me again and left. And I went and threw up in the toilet. Oh shit, do we, re oh, shit. Did we remember everything? Is this it? Are we just faking not knowing now? Oh God. I brushed my teeth and washed my mouth three times over. Is that because we kissed her? <laughs> I can't, I can't go on like this. I couldn't keep living here. Do I remember? I waited 10 minutes until I was sure Anna was gone. Then I pulled back the heavy curtains. Ah, light. <laughs> Down on the street, there was a single person looking sad and abandoned. I waved at her. She looked up, nodded, and walked into the building. Wait, wait, wait. It's Chris! Ah, it's Chris! Ah, ah, ah. Hi, Jack. I was so happy to see her, I wanted to cry. So when we were sat remembering backwards, we remembered Grace. But then we also remembered that Grace was the one we actually loved and Anna manipulated us. Oh my God. This isn't gonna last, but I'm gonna enjoy it while it does last. Oh, Grace. We'd started seeing each other in secret five days ago. Oh my God, really? Oh God, Anna is gonna go fucking insane. Even more so. This is how we end up in the hospital. 
I knew how long exactly. I'd started counting the days again. That big cloud of confusion in my brain was gone. I wasn't Anna's dog anymore. It was Anna's own fault. What else could she expect having me dig around my past like that? But it was scary how close I'd come to letting go. If things were a bit different, I might have kept on being a half-mute idiot forever. And I never would have let Grace inside. When I first heard Grace's voice again, I thought I'd finally snapped. I thought I was hallucinating. But I opened the door, and there she was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. This, this is so good. And you know what? Here's the weird thing about this experience. I've not made a single decision myself yet. I have not interacted with the game in any way other than experiencing it around me. And I am just absolutely hooked. The, the story is so bloody good. The way that the, 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 the background and the way that the characters interact is so good. I can't believe we've already played this for... How long have we been playing this? Quite a while. And I do not want to stop. Every time I run out of time for an episode, I am genuinely like, Oh no, but I want to keep going. But I know I've got to limit this. I've got to limit myself for a little bit. But I am absolutely loving this. And this is... I genuine I had genuine emotion when Grace was at the door there a genuine I really feel so attached to this game <laughs> I'm so attached to these characters I don't want any of them to get hurt even Anna she's a complete psychopath but you know I'm, I'm wondering if the whole murdering her thing is really the path we should go down but I don't know like I say that's got to be the decision we have to make that has to be what the decision is do we kill or not kill Anna? That's why the game is called Kill or Love. Surely. Surely. Do you kill Anna or do you fall back into the trap of loving her again? Or is something warped in the background that we don't know? Is there something we haven't seen? Are these false memories? I'm going to keep coming back to that thought. But for now, I'm just enjoying Grace being back at the door. But I've got to stop here for now. I'm so sorry. To myself as well as to everybody else. I just need to, I need to stop. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. I am incredibly scared for what's coming though. So scared. So. This is another reason I want to take a break. Because I'm not ready to be dumped down into the bottom of the pit of despair again. I just want to enjoy. I want to save. I want to walk away remembering this moment. Before we come back. Alright. Um, if you... It's not on play, kill all of yourselves. It's free to play, you know, and the link to the game is in the description below. So please go and give it a try yourselves. Get to that decision. It might be to the decision. If maybe you want to see, you can see ahead. It's totally fine. Just don't tell me. Don't tell me anything. I don't want to know. Okay, keep it a secret. All right, I want to zip for now. Um, if you have any other games you think I should be checking out, whack them in the comments below or send me a tweet. Send me a tweet. Tweet me, Facebook me. Um, Email me. All the usual good stuff. Alright? Cool. I've been Mikey Bly. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I will see you all next time around. Bye for now. <laughs>